on a day that saw five records fall, Bita Nelson stole the show once again. The sophomore from Verona now has five first place finishes. Just an unbelievable feat. Did you surprise yourself in the pool today? Oh my goodness, so much, uh, especially in that 100 fly, you know, that's sort of blossomed into a, a new thing that I probably should continue to do. <laughs> Um, but 52-0, I, I would have never imagined that that would be a time I would ever hold under my name. So I am so proud. <laughs> I looked up and my I always do this for some reason. I always put my hands over my mouth and <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Like I, I react like a little kid would. But I, I, I it's, I'm, I'm at loss for words. I cannot even try and frown right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> She gets in the water and she doesn't give up any second. She has that underdog mentality that we've been talking about. She always thinks that way. And when she does, she just soars. And as if this meet wasn't great enough, Arrowhead only maintained a two-point advantage over Waukesha South McGuanago heading into the final event, the 400-meter freestyle relay. And what does Waukesha South McGuanago do? They win the relay in state record time, which catapults them to the girls division one team title. They pulled together and believed in themselves and got it done. The UW Notorium was host to some world class speed for the division one championship Saturday. For the Wisconsin State Journal, I'm Corey Jennerjohn.